Here we go, DC 12 Club members. I'm Dave Johnson, and I want to welcome you to a very a special and exclusive a virtual Meet the Pick event. And we thank you so much for your loyalty and support. And of course, it's our chance to meet Denny Avdia, our first round draft pick. We're so excited to get him here to Washington, DC with the Washington Wizards. We appreciate you submitting uh, questions. We're going to get to those questions in a moment. But Denny, first of all, it's, it's so great to, to see you once again. And it's what we were just talking. It's about you're in Tel Aviv right now. It's about eight o'clock. Right, o'clock. correct. Getting ready for correct. Dinner. Yeah, I'm getting ready for Shabbat dinner as, as Israel usually do on Friday night. Um, yeah, I'm in Tel Aviv right now. All right. And uh, can you just describe what the last few days are? Because I must share with everyone here, all our DC 12 club members, uh, if you've got the energy to survive the last few days, you can you can make it in the NBA, no problem. Because when you were, what time was it when you were selected uh, in Israel? So in Israel, I grew up playing the juniors. We don't have high school and college. So we go straight from our clubs. We play clubs. So we do the junior prog program in our clubs. And then if we're good enough, we're going to go to the senior level. But if we're not good enough, most of the players will continue to the army and our like other obligations. So um, I got selected to play with the senior level of Maccabi Tel Aviv, uh, the best team in Israel. Um, in age of 16, I signed a six-year deal uh, with Maccabi Tel Aviv, and I've been playing pro with them for three years. Well, and again, that we'll get to that professional experience, but I was just uh, mentioning that uh, in terms of the last few days, can you talk just what that's been like? Because oh, definitely. You, you, were, you were selected at, I think, what was it, 1 o'clock in the morning is real time? And, and yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It just, I don't know. Have you gotten any sleep? So I didn't get, get any sleep. I woke up. Um, in, the same, in the same day of the draft, draft night, um, I woke up and I went to practice. I, I practiced like two, two hours um, at the gym. And then um, I woke up around like 10. And then I went to, the, went to rest a little bit. And then I went in one o'clock to, um, to sort of an event, uh, event building that I did the draft in. Um, I invited uh, all my friends and, and family members. Um, and yeah, I got selected probably around 2.33, like 2.30. I don't really remember, but I stayed, I stayed, I stayed up till, um, nine in the morning of the next day. So it was really hard. I was really tired, but, uh, it's a, it's an amazing experience. I had so much adrenaline going on. So I didn't really, I wasn't really tired. So uh, yeah, it went well. Yeah, you're seizing the moment and enjoying this experience. And and since you touched on it, uh, maybe just uh, and we do have some questions about it coming up from our DC 12 club members. But um, you touched on Maccabi Tel Aviv. Uh, can you just explain just how big a club that is, uh, not only in Israel, but in, in European competition? Oh, for sure. The biggest club in Israel uh, got the most media looking at and um, probably one of the best in Europe history wise. Um, we were one of the first teams in Europe, so uh, it's a great organization. We have a lot of history, a lot of great players who've uh, who've been playing for us, and we've been in the in the Euroleague competition for a lot and a lot of years. And we won uh, we won six Euroleague trophies. Um, I think we are one of the most uh, teams with the most trophies in the world. Um, so that's that's another achievement. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great club and a, and a big one, so. And this period of time, not only special for you, but, but also uh, your family, as you, you've shared with us, of course, your father, a former professional player, your, your mother was quite an athlete in, in track and um, you get a lot of your competitive spirit from them, right? Oh, a hundred percent. Since I was little, I, I remember myself competing for everything and, and, and my parents were so uh, upset when I was losing, so. Uh, I took losses and it's something bad. Uh, it's like it's like getting an F in a test and bring it back home. That's how it was for me with, with losses. So um, yeah, I'm I'm trying not to lose. I'm doing the best um, to win, and um, yeah, that's how I got raised. Yeah, well, that's the best out of all. Denny Abdia is a winner, and he's now a member of the Washington Wizards, and we're so pleased that he's joining us for for Meet the Pick here as uh, we appreciate all our DC 12 club members for their support. I know their excitement. And we have a lot of questions uh, from our DC 12 club members. And we'll, we'll start with Stephen Powers is just asking, uh, Denny, uh, is there anything in particular we're looking forward to with living 
uh, in the in the United States. Uh, you know, a lot of folks like to come here. Anything that you're looking forward to? That's we right. look at the look at the U.S. as um, as like the big world, like the the dream coming true opportunities, and um, we're looking at at a, at a vacation, a great vacation spot, and and just everybody wants to go on off Israel and and to fulfill their dreams and and just they just fly to the states so for me to go there i'm very excited i was it's not my first time going to into the states i've been to the states um great people very nice um good food and i'm excited so uh, yeah i know there's a lot of travel in in washington yeah you got the white house so i'll probably for sure visit there um i didn't really explore everything yet I, I Googled some, some of Washington spots, but um, we'll see. I need to explore when I get there. Yeah, we have a few restaurants you'll probably like uh, here as well. And and that folks was asking that, uh, is there a particular landmark that you want to see once you get in? You mentioned you'd like to see the White House. Anything else you've been Googling and thinking about? Um, no, I just saw a lot of nice, uh, nice uh, uh, statues and buildings. I really like nature. I saw a lot of pictures. Um, of, of nice nature that you have there and um yeah i'm just i'm just gonna live live it so i'll be surprised when i go there um uh, i want um i want to look at everything so like you, you had a great line and we, we shared it today on the radio as well that you, you you think the only easy thing will probably be the flight over from israel yeah. to washington and, and that's okay with you 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 like the idea that you're, you're about to embark on a, on a big big challenge a hundred percent. I've I've been through a lot of challenges in my career, especially here uh, in 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 my former club. Uh, we had a lot of pressure. We had a lot, of, tons of fans. Um, we had the media on us all the time. Um, so it was it was really um, challenging for me. Also, as a young young guy, to come and play with a grown up man who had a lot of experience playing basketball. So uh, I accepted that challenge. I managed to. Um, to get more minutes and be a good part of the team. And now this challenge is, is, is facing me again. And I'm, I'm more mature and I have more experience to face it. And I like challenges. It, it, it makes me a better player. It makes me a, it makes me a stronger man, stronger mentality. So um, yeah, the, probably the, the flight is the easiest, um, <laughs> but I'll, I'll face everything. So uh, I'll be good. Well, as long as that flight's first class, it'll be easier and you'll be, you'll be, yeah. <laughs> you'll be in good shape. It's about a seven hour yeah. flight. Hey, yeah, uh, we have a question from uh, Bennett Brunner. What role do you think you will fill in the team and how will you look toward uh, Bradley Beal and John Wall for, for leadership? Obviously just drafted a couple of days ago. So early days, but any thoughts on that? Yeah. First of all, I didn't meet all the guys yet. I know we have a lot of talent. Um, of course, um, Bradley and and John are are um, great players, and they have a lot of a lot of a lot of resume in them. Um, I watch a lot of their game, and I just I just take whatever role is gonna be uh, best for the team. So whatever coach want me to play, and whatever gonna make us win the most games, I'll play that position, and I'll do it a hundred percent to make sure the team looks better and the organization uh, goes to where it belongs. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to, to step on the court and win games. And, and that's not just a cliche as you say that because the environment that you, you just described as you were part of youth teams and an organization with Maccabi Tel Aviv, it's very much, you've been focused your whole life on how can you make the club as a whole better? Yeah. A hundred percent. I've been playing a lot of different position in Maccabi and I, I was also in uncomfortable situations, but we had a great team. We had a great team. We, we had a, a, a lot of wins. We were top four teams in Europe last year. So, um, and I was a big part of it because I, I played a big role in it and I, I did my job sometimes that I didn't want, but I did it in a hundred percent. And I make sure everybody stay connected. I was a good teammate. I'm, I was an unselfish player. So um, we succeeded. And I, uh, that was my uh, happiest moment. Definitely. You mentioned uh, being a good teammate. And, and I thought that was interesting. Uh, some people might think from your dad, a former and very, very good basketball player. But it was the off the court that he really taught you uh, versus the on yeah. the court stuff. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, 
me and my dad did, didn't really get along um, on the court. We would go to practice, but since we are so competitive uh, to each other, we didn't really manage to um, get along. But off the court definitely um, made me um, to be a, a great teammate, uh, a, a good man uh, with good manners, uh, who, who likes everybody, who respects everybody, who's very friendly and easy to talk to. Um, but when I need to get I'm, when I when I need to get serious on the court, I am I'm a hard worker with a great work ethic, and I think it's very important that he got he raised me like that. So I'll have everything of uh, I have like sort of everything. Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, but well, and again, your parents taught you not to like to lose, so you've you definitely got that. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Roger Glass is asking, what is the best uh, aspect uh, of your game, and and what do you what do you want to work on? And a high level professional is always working on his game. Yeah, so. Me, I think the, the basketball IQ and understanding of the game is, is one of my best uh, qualities. I'm very unselfish. I like to create for others. Um, I'm very fast for my height, so it's good for me. And um, I need to, in, it, like, towards my game, I need to improve everything. And that's what I like. I like to see myself improving all the time. I'm doing so much, so many things on the court and that I'm doing okay that can be good and great. So... I think um, that's a good sign. Um, I, I think I have the work ethic. I think I'm improving all the time, but in terms of, 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 of skill-wise, I can get better um, every day in my career. And in terms of um, uh, like on the court, not, uh, not like mental, mental, um, mental side, I think I can just mature with the time. Um, my experience can get bigger and, and just to be a better player all around, so. We appreciate Denny Avdia visiting with us. Meet the pick, and we thank everyone for their support. And we'll, along those lines, I'll get to a couple of questions from Michael Pitts is asking, uh, are you comfortable putting the ball and driving to the hoop in a half-court setting as well as running in stride uh, with our ball handlers on the fast break? And obviously, he's talking about the Wizards' fast break, Michael Pitts. Yes, I think um, I can rebound and go. I can, um, I can handle the ball. But I, I, I can all, um, also run. I'm, I'm a very fast runner. Um, so I can run the floor very easily, get some, some easy points. But for sure, every role that, that they, like the, the coach and the organization going to give me, I'm, I'm going to do it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm able to do it all. Well, you mentioned your fast runner. Did you, did you get that uh, from your, your mother? I mean, she was very good in track, right? Yeah, I think um, I have really strong legs. and. When I was a kid growing up, I was kind of average height. So I wasn't really tall. I was competing like in track and field too. Um, and I was like, I think, I think second in, 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 my, um, in my hometown uh, from all the kids. So I was, I was a really fast runner. And then I grew like, um, I don't know how many inches, but a lot of inches. I don't know how to get it like centimeters for inches. I'm sorry. Um, but I grew a lot and a lot of the skills I had when I was a little bit shorter stayed with me. So um, the speed and then and, and all the the, um, the legs um, coordination, it, it all stayed with me. So um, I was I was blessed by, by by getting this. And when you were younger, you played football or soccer, as, as yeah. we say here. And that, yeah, that, the, that the footwork probably helped you as well. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I played soccer a lot of times, um, like for four years, and um, it helped me. It helped me very much with, with my footwork. Um, I got very quick by that, and then uh, it helped me very much in basketball. So it was a good, it was a good first step to go in basketball for me. Well, as you mentioned, looking forward to, to meeting John Wall and Bradley Bill. Romel Fuentes uh, mentions, is there anything about their games that you know of Wall and Beal that you're most excited to be able to to play alongside. And I know you've played them on NBA 2K, right? So you know something about their games. Yeah, a, a very, very fast, very explosive uh, two players. Um, I know John is a good defender, uh, very fast. Uh, Bradley is a great, great scorer. I know they both both good passers. Um, I'm just excited to create for them and, 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 and play with them. 
So um, just excited to meet them and to see how we how we feel uh, fit fit along each other. Heather Stefan is asking, uh, do you have any milestones you hope to reach or a, a goal uh, in the NBA? Is and this may be a broad question about as you you dream of your your career and looking in the future. Is there anything on your radar with that? Definitely. Um, I'm always looking at new mil milestones. I'm always working hard for them. Um, of course, I want to be a good part of the team. I want to earn my minutes slowly and just every day to be a better player, to learn something new um, and just and just to bring that team, uh, help bring that team to where it belongs. And yeah, maybe one day also to be an all-star and, and, and win a championship. So. It, those are all the milestones for me, and I work, I'll, I'll work very hard for this, be sure about that. And, um, yeah, just every day I have a new milestone to learn something new, too. So uh, that's about it. That's how you got to this point. Uh, you always have something every day that, that you're trying yeah. to uh, achieve. Uh, Andrew Sherman uh, wants to know, and, and I, I know from visiting with you in the media call yesterday about your, your favorite basketball players growing up, and and uh, that may be more on the European side or certainly in your country where there's such a passion for basketball. I watch a lot of European basketball, but um, I won't say I have really a favorite player that I grew up on. I, I really watched highlights of players. Um, one, one, one of the players I really liked watching highlights of is, is Derek Rose um, back in the day um, when he won his MVP award. But um, mm -hmm. I don't. I didn't really look at somebody and say, "Yeah, he's my he's my favorite player." I do like watch players, highlights and stuff, but not somebody specific. No. Following Omri Caspi, uh, Gail Meckel, who I believe is playing in, in Sweden, and, and T.J. Leaf, who of course is in the NBA, you will be the fourth player born in Israel to play in the NBA. Nilsson France wants to know what is your message to the the children that are playing basketball on the the streets of Israel? Maybe you could. Again, share with the, some of our season ticket members just what the, the basketball lifestyle is like in Israel. So, so I'll say, first of all, what I have to say for the kids and, and what I have to say for the kids is kind of a cliche, but it's just not giving up. Like, I didn't have a comfortable situation my whole career. Uh, everywhere I went, I, I didn't have an easy time and nothing. Nobody gifted me anything. I needed to fight for it and work for it and, and, and maybe spit blood sometimes to, to, get, to get where I got. And um, no matter what I had, even with all some sometimes uh, if I coach who didn't let me play and I didn't like or certain players that didn't pass to me a lot, I didn't I didn't want to uh, drop the basketball. I want always, always to, to keep my head up, didn't didn't really give up, um, always worked very hard for my dreams. And, and, and I just waited for the opportunity to to take it. And I took it. And, and that's where I am now. So. Uh, don't ever give up and, and always um, work hard and be ready to fulfill your dreams. And uh, the basketball, uh, the second question you asked is, can you repeat it, please? No, just uh, maybe give us some insight of, of the, the the basketball passion, if you will, or for young kids, uh, are they out on the streets playing one-on-one -on -one or uh, what is what is uh, that like? Yeah, we I, as a kid, I, I used to play a lot of one-on-one -on -one and three-on-three -on, -three on, on the streets, but... Um, we play um, more in clubs, um, like basketball and, and our high school didn't really get together, didn't re really get along. So if you're a good player, you're playing with the seniors, but you're still learning in high school. So some of the uh, team practices will be on the high school uh, hours. So it's it's really hard to fit, um, um, how do you say, school and basketball together. So um, I need to do a little bit, uh, give up on something. Um, and complete it after. Um, but yeah, we have a very, very passionate for, for sports. Also, basketball is, is one of the biggest sport in Israel. So I see uh, a lot of kids are very, very uh, passionate about it and in, in, in dreaming big, and, and I'm happy to see it. Yeah. Well, you're dreaming big, and, and it's reality. Is uh, You're about to embark on an NBA career with us here in, in Washington. And uh, Spencer Davis, this will be the uh, final question uh, for you. Uh, what is the difference in approach for winning teams versus non-winners? Uh, you clearly are a winner. What's what's what makes a winner? So I'll 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 um I'll explain something uh, that not a lot of people knew. I I won two 
gold medals back to back with with Israel, and those were the first gold medal that Israel won on on a basketball tournament or competition ever. So um, something I can say about those two teams that I played on, um, we didn't have the most skill. We didn't have, we weren't the most skilled. We weren't the most big, um, and we weren't the most fast. We were, I think, I think potential wise, we were on the bottom. So. What brought us to win is our chemistry, our family-oriented family team, how we play together, how we pick, pick each other up. And, um, yeah, it's not always about skill and how good the players in the team are. It's how they get along, how they protect uh, uh, um, each, um, every player on the team, and just playing together, be, being unselfish, uh, don't really um, – less care about your stats, more care about the team. So, um, yeah, that, that's what brought us there, I can say. No, well, that's, uh, that's very, very well said. And, and on behalf of all the DC 12 club members and the Washington Wizards fans, welcome to the Washington Wizards family. Thank you so much. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Still need to complete some uh, hours of sleep. Uh, you know, I didn't really sleep well in, in, in those days. I was really excited and thinking a lot of, so, um, pardon me if I'm a little bit tired. Um, it's part of the deal. Yeah. No, you're, you're, you're fantastic. I got to borrow some of that energy uh, from you. Denny Avdia, you, you get to have dinner now, right? Yeah, I got that Shabbat dinner, some fish, yeah. um, as usual. Uh, for all the Jewish, I want to say Shabbat Shalom. And yeah. <laughs> Well said, and I'll let you get to your evening. And, and again, thank you so much for the time. And uh, can't wait to see you here in Washington, D.C. I can, I can't wait to meet you all. Thank you so much. Denny Avdia, now with the Washington Wizards. And for everyone watching on Meet the Pick, we thank you for watching. And above all, we thank you for your support of the Washington Wizards. For now, I'm Dave Johnson. On behalf of Denny Avdia, have a great weekend and a happy holiday.